Hi, this is Dr. Joe, and I want to share some exciting tips on using the new uh, 3D capture with our structure sensor, which I don't have attached to this iPad. I'm using the larger iPad Pro, so that way when it's recording the screen, you can see it a little bit easier. Uh, but you need to always have that structure sensor. Uh, feel free to email us if you don't know how to obtain the, one of the 3D cameras. What I'm going to show is after we've captured that 3D image of our client, how to appropriately uh, measure and some things to think about when you're measuring um, around the circumferences of the body, okay? So we're going to always tend to evolve this product. In, the in this first version, we're measuring the most important features and areas that we need to for body composition as well as what um, fitness professionals as well as doctors are monitoring when a person's going through a weight loss or fitness regimen. So I've already recorded some, some videos of or scans of a 3D. So if we go right in here, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my 3D capture. Once you've already captured the image, which would show up here, we're gonna hit this plus sign, and then you're gonna update the 3D, um, what their body weight was, just in case it was on a, a different day. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in their body weight is 115. So now at this point in time, I have the model of the client. So I have a true model of 3D replica of the client. I want to show you a tool. If we need to reset their position, you hit this little cube down on the bottom. Okay? Now, what we need to do is we need to drag these markers to known locations. We need to at least have the neck, the midsection between the, the ribs and the most narrow margins, as well as the umbilicus area. Now, something to think about. The most narrow portion between the end of the, the um, sternum and the top of the umbilicus, you can see on, on the woman, it's right in that area. Um, you, could, you need to be consistent with them, so it's the most narrow portion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag these markers to known locations, and it tells you what to do here. Now there's a, a tip here. If I go ahead and drag this marker right into this region here, we now have a way to change the plane and make sure that we're not getting like the, the traps in the area of the picture. So if I turn this area, you can see that I'm taking her shoulder, right? So if I zoom this in, two fingers to drag down, I'm getting her shoulder. So if I zoom this in, two fingers to drag down, what you can do is you can hold your finger here and just simply tilt the device towards you. So now if you look through here, you can see that we're getting the plane of the, that area, okay? One of the, the neat tricks that we can do too is that if we need to, we can move this slightly up and it stays in that plane. Pretty straightforward. On the neck, based on their head posture, you're gonna to wanna to get a nice clean image. Now, something to keep in mind. On this, I'm gonna to wanna to tilt it a little bit more, and I'm gonna drag this down just a little bit more on their neck, okay? So right in there, and you'll get the, the, the feel for it as you get going. Make sure their hair is up if they have long hair, because the 3D camera, you don't wanna scan their hair, right? Because that's gonna to add to the bulk of their neck. You don't want to have any clothing on in that area, otherwise it's going to make their neck look bigger. The 3D camera is going to capture anything. It can't distinguish if it's clothing or hair, so you need to make sure that that's out of the area. Now, I had her arms pretty far out, so it cut off the field of view of her, of her hands. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do this midsection. Okay, We're going to click here, and it tells you where to go. Um, it's the most narrow portion, so I'm going to drop this right in this area. And in these areas, and you can see it measures in real time, 29.5 inches, if I need to move it up. You know, this is where it comes, uh, some of the art of being a doctor or healthcare provider. I might want to ch choose to maybe slope that a little bit more, okay? It's up to you. And again, you can tilt or you can use your finger to be able to do that. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and reset it. So that was 29.2 inches. I'm gonna come in here click on her belly button, and then we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and click on her pelvis and her hips. Now you wanna have the, technically you wanna have the, the widest portion here, okay? So if I do this, I'm gonna tilt. That looks pretty good, 37 inches. I can go ahead, probably tilt that a little bit more. Again, this is up to your discretion if you want to. Okay, so I'm just gonna tilt that just a little bit more. Now, if I wanna go ahead and capture their arms, just make sure that you get a good 3D image and there's no artifacts. I'm just gonna, for time's sake, I'm gonna just drop this to her arm, mid point of her arm. So 
what we're going to do is now notice that it's not exactly in the same plane of the slice of going right through her arm, right? It's kind of on an angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to tilt. See how I'm using the iPad to, to change the direction? So 9.6 inches. Just make sure you always measure the same areas for reliability, okay? We could go ahead and measure her legs as well too. You might choose to have, make sure they wear some um, fairly um, tight clothing or they're in shorts. But if I'm going to go ahead and drop this down onto her leg, we can go ahead and measure. 18 and a half inches. We can go ahead and do the other side if we like to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hit next and you can see that we measured 17% of her body composition, right, from the 3D. Um, in the next update, we're also going to have the ability to, to average, just like the two-dimensional photographic lean screen, we can average the 3D with the 2D, get two body compositions averaged together, as well as if you have a third party, say you're using electroimpedance method, uh, some sort of BIA, or if you're using calipers, you can go ahead and average that. But here's the gem of this. Here are all the measurements. Now, we didn't measure all of them, but here are all the measurements in real time. So just like the two-dimensional report, if I'm going to bring this up, now we have the inches. So now when we do a follow-up, we're going to have the pre-post inches. And again, there's your body composition analysis report. Very similar, almost identical to what we do with the 2D. So that's how to fine-tune using Lean Screen 3D that's part of our Posture Screen module. Again, you're going to need the Structure 3D camera attached to the iPad to get those models. And the best method is to use the Posture Screen Unlimited subscription so you can do all the 3D scans, all the two-dimensional photographs, and eventually use some of our uh, newer software that's coming out, all for the one price of our subscription, which currently right now is only $14.99 if you purchase for the year. Okay, per month. So if you have any other questions, reach out to us at support at posturescreen.com. Thank you.